if we really trust God, we don't have a care in the world. It's the wisdom and the peace and calm and the faith, that is to say, perfect trust in God, that, in, that transforms suffering into a, I won't quite say joy, but it gives it a meaning that takes away the resistance so that one sees a value to suffering that is, that is uh, well, godlike. I truly believe that this series will help you see the importance of letting go of the big things, of the little things, so one can truly taste life on a much deeper level. And Thomas, in your own life, is that how you see these remaining years of your life as preparing to come home? Well, I, I hope I am home. <laughs> my, 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 uh, it's, it's, it's true, I, I'm always stumbling around, but, but it, it's such a constant, it's a journey that never ends because what is home? It's it's to live in God's house all the days of our lives, and that house is this participation in the divine life. Personally, it was a wonderful experience to listen to Thomas and to be interviewing him. What I receive from it is that it's just another step. I don't know how I'm going to react when that moment comes of dying and death. But Thomas's words just encourage me more and more to see it just as another step in the eternity of my life. What's dying is not the deepest self, but our dependence and over-identification with the mental ego and its projects and our cultural conditioning and over-identification with it or our roles in life, the dying process in this perspective would be the culmination or the peak of the, of the development of the uh, whole development of the spiritual journey in which the total surrender to God involves the gift of life itself.